All right, you know, when you're traveling long distance and you leave between the superchargers, you might wonder sometimes, like, how fast should I drive to arrive, you know, to travel the fastest way? Well, I'll give you the answer. Uncle Bjorn will give you the answer. It is 170 kilometers per hour or 106 miles per hour. Yeah, with a Model S, all right? So recently I took a trip to uh, Germany and I did some tests. And this was with a, a Model S P100D Ludicrous, which is a facelift. And uh, I also fitted the car with a 19-inch uh, Windrun R330 summer tires. They are very efficient. And I did this uh, test run uh, near Busto, you know, driving back. I drove from the supercharger north and then turned back again. So we eliminated any wind advantage or elevation advantage. And uh, I did the speed runs on... 110, 130, 150, 170, and 190 kilometers per hour. Just as I've done with the other cars recently. Uh, and here are the results. And uh, yes, like I mentioned, you know, the, the best speed is 170 kilometers per hour. So the column you want to look at is the kilometers per hour or the miles per hour column here. And you see that if you drive at 110 or 130, then you will arrive slower because simply because the car, the Model S is so efficient, so even if you run at high speed, you still don't consume that much and you charge very fast with a 100 pack. So the optimal speed is 170, well it could be 180, I don't know for sure, but it doesn't seem to be 160 based on these numbers. Uh, but there's like one small disadvantage by driving at 170, is that um, you can't use cruise control. So the cruise control only goes up to 150 kilometers per hour on these newer cars. Now the classic cars, before um, autopilot, could drive at 177 on the cruise control. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what, that's probably like 110 miles per hour. Yeah? <clears throat> um, so, uh, I mean, if we look at the numbers again, um, 130, I mean, 100, 100, there's like a big gap here between 110 and 130, up to 150, 270, 190. So, uh, I would say that uh, as long as you cruise between 150 and 190, then you're you're good, you know. Um, and it's not not like too big deal if you cruise at 150. You just want to chill, use cruise control, autopilot. Uh, you still arrive fairly fast. But if you cr cruise slower, if you think you're gonna save energy and cruise slower, then you will also arrive slower. Yeah. The last one is the last thing I will talk about is that uh, what about um, Model S versus Model X and I pace? Well, we don't have data for other cars yet, like EQC or e-tron. And here you see. The comparison, uh, not surprisingly, Model S is the most efficient in this this class. Yes, I know your Kona is more efficient. Yes, yes, yes. Your Ionic is more efficient. Yes, yes. But they can't go 250 kilometers per hour, can they? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Stop talking. All right. Talk to the hand. <laughs> no, but um, okay. So uh, Model S is very efficient. Like I was so surprised every time I did the run, I came back and like, damn. Yeah. Okay, well, I have to um, point out that uh, when I did these runs, Model S and Model X had um, wind run tires, whereas the I-Pace had some some so-called premium tires, I guess, uh, Michelin or something. Yeah, I don't remember. That, of course, I mean, it matters, but uh, you see that at higher speed, Model S wins by far. It's so efficient at high speed versus uh, Model X, which is increases, and then, model, and then i -Pace is just ridiculously high yeah so i'm um, interesting um i hope uh, <laughs> uh, in not too long i can add results for e-tron and then later eqc and then oh taycan <laughs> yeah i have to make this nice collection of this um, yeah there'll be lots of runs to germany and lots of bratwurst uh or actually bratwurst currywurst what's it called cockwurst i think someone said it, it's not called bratwurst yeah of course so many woods in um, in Germany, but yeah, I think that was it. A short video about uh, stuff. You know, no need to talk too much about this. You see the numbers, you figure out how fast you should drive. Yeah. So, I guess uh, that's it for now. I hope this video was useful for you. So, uh, talk to you guys later then.